Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for May 2nd, 2023. Well, yesterday we tried to get a little bit of bullishness going, and then we just kind of pulled it on back. A whole lot of hurry up and wait as we wait on the FOMC rate decision, is my guess. Now, today we have a lot of data coming our way that could change that a little bit, but how about we settle in, let's buckle up, let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can get some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, doggone it, you know, we are right back here in this chop zone. Um, if I push this line up here, right up there to the top of the wick yesterday, and you can see we're just pressed up here in this range that we have been stuck in for some time. And that shooting star pattern would suggest maybe a little bit of softness could come into the market. Can anybody be really all that surprised that we could see a little bit of choppiness in here? We still have these regional bank concerns, even though the talking heads uh, seem to be acting like, ah, there's no problem here. Well, we still see those regional banks moving down pretty sharply. So I think there is a problem here. We heard from Janet Yellen that our uh, debt deadline due to declining tax receipts um, will be sooner, like June 1st. So now we have a, another default issue starting to spin around out there that the market has largely ignored. And then, of course, we have a big amount of earnings and data today that could move us around. So let's take a look at what we've got going here. As you can see, if the bulls can find um, inspiration today, well, I would suggest a retest up here. If we can get something really inspired going to the upside, a retest up here, maybe even trying to pop through up there if they really get going. If those bears, if those bears find um, inspiration today, well, then about the only place we could maybe come down here and test this little support level right in here. If that doesn't hold, then we start looking at this support level down here. And if that doesn't hold, I think we move right on down here to the major support level that we struggled with the other day, um, right down in here. So kind of keep an eye on that. And I would not be at all surprised to see a lot of um, choppiness, low volume, um, um, whipsaws as we wait for the FOMC. If we take a look at our SPY, I'm going to say pretty much the same thing. If we push up here and I just lift that line up to the top of that wick, well, we pushed up here, tested that resistance, backed away from it, a bit of a shooting star um, on the day. If we find a little bullish uh, price action in here, look for a retest of that resistance up there. If the bears find um, reason to push down, well, look for some support in here. And then, of course, right on down if um, they want to push on further. That would be a really big move today, and that would be pretty painful and shocking um, if we moved all the way down there. But, you know, anything is possible in the market. If we take a look at the QQQ, QQQ pressed up through that resistance here in the chart. So we've got to move this line up just a little bit. But I got to tell you, it really wasn't enough to really um, raise that um, certainty level here in the NASDAQ. Certainly, we're pressing hard on the NASDAQ. We've got um, so many of these um nasdaq tech giants with pe ratios well above um uh, overbought areas but nobody seems to care about that so keep an eye on this if those bulls continue to find inspiration here then maybe pushing through um, yesterday's resistance might be possible even pushing as much as coming up into here into that top area right in there um, if the bears find inspiration today, well, then I would look for a pullback to retest some support levels in here. That wouldn't be a big pullback here, uh, 
but it could shake the market a little bit. And if that were to fail, then of course we retest this area down here, which of course would be very shocking to the market and maybe raise a little bit of fear. So watch that close. And again, don't be too surprised if it's a hurry up and wait today. And then if we look at our IWM, well, IWM, here again, we rallied up, we tested the downtrend, we tested resistance, we put in a big old shooting star. There's nothing about this chart right now that is bullish. As a matter of fact, it is the most bearish index in the market. This is where our regional banks, a lot of our regional banks reside. And um, even though the talking heads keep, continue to say not much going on here, that we've resolved the problem, um, boy, I got to do is look at the regional bank stocks and you know that that's not the truth. So keep an eye on that. Um, I think there is the possibility we can, could continue to see problems here on the regional bank side. Let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX acted like nothing to worry about. We've got bank failures, the third recent bank failure uh, being taken over by uh, JP Morgan. And we're like, eh, don't care. Uh, no problem no fear here in the market we're pressed down here ended up closing the day around 16 handles on that um, if the bears were to find inspiration maybe look for a press back up into here if those bulls continue to find inspiration well I would su suggest that what we're looking at is that possibility that we fail um, that um, resistance right in here and that possibility we sink on lower back down here toward 14 15 level in um, the C the uh, VIX which would be really starting to reach kind of an extreme complacency area of the market if we take a look at our T2122 well T2122 at one point in the day had pushed up into the bearish reversal zone we were um, all the way up into here and well then the sellers came back on and the regional bank stuff started to creep back up and uh, maybe a little bit of reality that we're waiting on the Fed came back in and we pulled this back on the day. So inspiration for the day. If the bulls find inspiration in any of these data points, and we got a lot of them today, um, then we have certainly opened an upside opportunity to that press to the upside. And of course, if the bears find inspiration today, well, we certainly have opened up plenty of opportunity for a downside move if uh, they find something to grab a hold of. If we take a look at our T2108, well, our T2108 ended up being pretty much flat yesterday. Not much happened here. 47% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. As you can see, we, we tried to press early in the day and then just pulled it all back pressing against resistance here we're waiting on something to give us some inspiration to see if we can push on through or if those bears are going to take over and push us down um, if we look at our t2107 well t2107 a little bit lighter on the day again a lot of the regional banks encompassed into that small cap sector and a lot of them sold off yesterday some pretty steep selling um, as a matter of fact which would suggest that the regional banking situation is far from over at least at this point but let's keep a close eye on that you could also see that there's a possibility in here that's a a uh, rather interesting head and shoulders pattern in that chart and uh, the fact that we're faltering here just a little bit um, on that move i'm uh, not showing a lot of strength just yet may raise a little bit of concern if those bears find reason for inspiration but if those bulls find reason for, ins for inspiration maybe we pop on out of there and we break on through and all of this worry goes away Let's take a look at our T2101. T2101, you know, shifted direction here um, on Friday. We kind of hooked over the top, momentum sinking off here a little bit. We certainly saw that yesterday with volumes being low as we just kind of stand around and wait for the FOMC decision and what that might mean for the market. Let's take a look 
at our economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, we've got a couple things on here to be paying attention to. As I mentioned yesterday, we've got the motor vehicle numbers uh, out the, today. We're going to have uh, factory orders. We're going to have the job openings report. The FOMC meeting will begin today. And of course, that's what everyone's going to be waiting for. So as you plan forward into Thursday, kind of keep in mind, we're going to have ADP, Treasury refunding announcement. We're going to have petroleum status. We're going to have, oh, I forgot ISM and PMI composite numbers. We're going to have um, the FOMC announcement in the afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, 2.30 comes the Fed chair presser. So just be prepared for about anything, even though the Fed's been pretty clear. We're going to raise by 25 basis points, but perhaps the banking situation has tempered some of that idea. We shall see um, as, uh, uh, well, we'll find out tomorrow. So um, stay tuned. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar here. Our earnings calendar, we've got quite a few um, earnings on the list today. So you'll want to make sure and click that link just below the title of the video on YouTube, and that'll take you back to the morning blog where you can catch that full list. Some of the notables here today, uh, we've got ADT um, that we'll be reporting. We're going to hear from some um, oil and gas out there. We've got BP reporting today. We're going to hear from uh, some industrials. Um, Cummins will be reporting today. We're going to hear from Ford. We're going to hear from uh, Tree, Lending Tree. Ooh, yikes. Um, that's going to leave a mark. Um, we're going to hear from Pfizer. Pfizer's trying to push up a little bit here this morning. We've got a little insurance in here uh, from Prudential. We're going to hear from Starbucks probably this afternoon. Um, we have already heard from Uber this morning. They had a smaller than expected loss, um, and that's engendering a lot of buying going on in here. Uh, but it's still a loss, but smaller than expected. And last but not least, YUMZ, uh, YUMC will be on that list today. Once again, make sure you take, um, click that link and you can catch that full list of notables for today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor once again, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon. When it pops up that way, you'll get notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could also do me that favor, and that is click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. And I just got to take a second and just a huge thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. I know I, I, I'm on a daily video like this. I, I know it's a pain in the neck to just constantly write in thank you or, you know, good morning or anything like that um, works, but it's the engagement with a video that makes the difference on the channel and I just want to say thank you to everyone who does take time to do that. It really does take quite a little bit of time for the preparation and put these videos together and I truly truly appreciate the support. So thank you so much for um, for that. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful here in the market. Um, with all of this data coming our way, with the uncertainty about a debt ceiling, with the uncertainty on regional banks, uh, uh, there is certainly a lot to be thinking about here in the market. And what that means is, is you have to follow your own trade conviction and make sure you're following your trade rules, your guidelines, and your personal risk tolerances out there because my goodness, anything is possible. Let's take a look at a, a couple stocks here. Um, uh, Disney. Um, Disney had a really good move last Thursday and Friday, pushing up, and as you can see, pressing through some resistance in the chart. Now, if Disney can hold, now we certainly know that there's a big legal battle with Disney in Florida going on right now. Uh, a lot of back and forth uh, going on in there, but let's watch this. If this can rest and consolidate in here, 
I would look for that next opportunity for maybe that to push on up. Now, one thing that's going to mess this up is that earnings report. We've got our earnings coming in at 510. Uh, that could really mess things up. So make sure you plan carefully on a trade like that. Let's keep an eye on um, some of these medical um, drug maker stocks. Um, BMY had a pretty ugly fall out of bed here. Um, it, it, it had tried to recover, get itself back up in there. You know, we broke down, tried to get back in there and then just rolled over and fell out of bed. Um, as this rallies back up in here, um, this would potentially create that lower high and a potential failure in here could be critical. So I would watch for this. If that sets up, that could end up being a potential short to the downside on BMY. Watch that one closely. Now, if we take a look at Merck, Merck's on the other side of that. Merck doesn't seem to be having too much trouble here. We broke down. Boy, this is quite a candle here in recovery, rejection of the low. So as we push back up and we hold above this support level, kind of a mix of um, charts in here in this sector. So I would watch that closely. I think any consolidating rest or pullback in here still sets up that opportunity for the upside here. And Merck, while we're looking at BMY, maybe for a downside move. Take a look at United Health, um, UNH also pretty ambiguous in here we shot up hard absolutely rejected it up here dropped hard broke down through support in that chart and now we're rallying back up here to test this area as resistance and right now i'm not seeing a whole lot of confidence in those candle patterns that they're going to deal with that well so watch this area in here here's another potential short on that healthcare sector if that sh starts to show failure and move on lower i would watch carefully for that obviously we've been struggling here just a little bit with a lot of resistance above some lower highs in there to be concerned about on unh let's take a look at a different sector um, i'm going to be keeping an eye here on fedex now we know ups struggled big time to the downside um, on its earnings report but if we take a look at fedex despite the fact that amazon's not looking so good um, overall um, apparently consumers are out there spending because our credit card debt um, is at new record levels it just continues to go up um, i wonder how much longer the consumer can take that but take that much pain we'll see but watch this carefully here uh, fedex uh, looking like it has that opportunity that could pop out and i wouldn't be all surprised if that rests a little bit longer in there for that um, next move to the upside but i would keep a close eye on that one thing i think we are really going to have to be paying attention to is the dollar the dollar rallied strongly yesterday and continued to rally and that had a negative effect on bonds what we're seeing and what we're seeing again this morning with the janet yellen comments about debt ceiling we're seeing bond yields continuing to move um, higher creating lots and lots of pressure here um, in the market and that's having some negative effects on uh, gold gold pulling back hard yesterday silver interestingly enough gapped up and then pulled it all the way back yesterday a uh, little bit of pressure in there on some of those precious metals now if we look at some of the other shiny metals out there well uh, not looking so good here if we look at um, fcx on copper we had tried to break through this uh, downtrend here but we could not hold it as support broke all the way back down and now we're showing resistance at that same trend and this is a possible failure pattern a possible short on fcx if we take a look at scco copper we also have a problem here we tried to break through to a new high here we weren't able to hold it as support now we show that possibility that we could catch a lower high failure and a potential short here in scco we could also take a look at um those other shiny metals out there in steel my goodness they are getting hammered here um u.s steel pushing down big time um, any rally back, I think, sets up an opportunity for a short. Take a look at STLD, Steel Dynamics. Whoops. 
steel dynamics stuck in this range here in the chart but with the overall bearishness in the steel sector i would be watching this resistance area here obviously support area here and that possibility that this really could make a lower high in here someplace and watch for that next potential short in steel dynamics if we take a look at um Cleveland Cliffs, Cleveland Cliffs falling off a cliff, uh, moving down sharply. Any rally back to that resistance or any consolidation over would set up a, a downside move. And remember, when we see the dollar strengthening, commodity prices like gold, silver, steel, copper, if the dollar strengthens, those should weaken. So watch those closely. Another place to look would be, of course, in the oil and gas sector. We saw some selling yesterday in, um, in uh, oil prices. And if that were to continue, it shows the demand destruction of the economy. If we have a strengthening dollar, I would look for those oil prices to continue to shrink and fall away uh, from the market. So keep a close eye on that. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thanks so much for being here today. I truly appreciate it. Um, I want to wish you all the very best. I want to wish you great profits for the day, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everybody.